Being around plants can measurably improve your mood. And here's how we know that. Anecdotally, green space has been thought to have therapeutic benefits for hundreds of years. So the Victorians built hospitals with elaborate gardens around them. Even the Edwardian novel, The Secret Garden, is actually a book all about horticultural therapy. But it's only in recent years that this has been systematically, scientifically tested. So the first studies start coming out in the 1970s, and they report things like speeded up hospital healing times in patients whose wards look out onto green views versus brick walls. But there's a problem with these studies. Most of them are really small, so you can't discount the fact that their results might just be red herrings. And even if they're not, is there actual causation at play or is it just correlation? What we really needed were intervention studies, where you take two very similar groups of people, expose one to green space, and see if there are measurable differences between those two. And we now know, for example, that if you take a bunch of blokes and put them on treadmills and show them screens where they're looking at either views of the natural world or not, the people who saw green space not only found the exercise easier, they actually also burnt more calories. And the exciting thing is, this wasn't a one-off. There is a growing body of studies from all over the world consistently pointing to the same thing, a measurable improvement in mental and physical health just from looking at green space. I think in a post-lockdown world, many of us now know, even if it's for the first time, that stepping into green space can make you immediately feel better. It's almost a measurable improvement in your well-being within seconds. And the most exciting thing to me as a scientist is that we now have the data to back that up.